Hey guys, it's Laura and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to wrap either a charger cord or a headphone cord or whatever you can come up with to wrap. Because in my family, we all have like the same headphones and the same chargers and we always get them mixed up and it's like, no, that one's mine, that one's mine. Uh, so to solve that problem, I wrapped everyone's like power cords, headphones, etc. in different colors and now what we know which is which. So I can show you guys a few examples. Here's a cord, this one's mine. Here's some headphones, more headphones, more headphones. <laughs> And I just thought it was a great way to personalize your stuff. So if you guys want to do this with yours, keep watching to see how. And then remember my challenge that I have released in previous videos, where if we can get this channel to 100 subscribers by Christmas 2020, I will make a video where I spend 48 hours in my loft. Just so you guys know what it looks like, I'm going to show you my loft right now. All right guys, here is my loft, AKA schoolroom plus hangout area that I will be spending 48 hours in if we can get this channel to 100 subscribers by Christmas. Okay, so if you wanna see me do that, make sure to share this video. I believe we can do it. All right, now let's start crafting. All right, so for this awesome craft, you're just gonna need three things. So you're obviously gonna need your headphones or charger cord or whatever you're wrapping. You're going to need some scissors to cut the string. And then speaking of string, you're gonna need however many colors you want of string. So I have gray, blue, and an off-white, so I'm just doing three, but you're welcome to do however many you'd like. All right, you're gonna start off by just pulling out some string of one of your colors. A way to gauge how much string you want, just to be safe, do twice the length you want it to go down the cord. So if I wanna wrap like this much of my cord, my string would be double that length. And then you're just gonna snip it where you want. Now you're gonna repeat that with the other colors. Just line up two ends and follow them together all the way down until they're the same length and then cut it off at the end. There we go, here's my string. Now you're gonna get your cord involved. All right, so you're just gonna take your cord. Let me get that out of the way so you can really see what I'm doing. You're gonna get a good amount of length on this side just so that you have enough to tie it off. And then you're just going to double knot it. Very simple. Just make sure you pull really tight. And there we go, we're secured on. Okay, now it's time to wrap it. So this little tail right here, we're just gonna kind of hold along the cord right here and we're gonna wrap around that so that it's nice and secure and won't fall off the top. Now you're gonna pick whichever color you want to go first and separate that out from the rest. Okay, now you're gonna hold the other colors that you're not wrapping, you're also gonna hold along the cord and you're gonna wrap around those two. So we're wrapping around the tail and we're wrapping around the colors that we're not doing yet. Then you're gonna take the color that you are doing, which I picked tan first, and you're just going to start by going around and coming back. Keep, make sure you keep it nice and tight, each layer right below the next one. I find the closer you have your fingers to where you're wrapping, the easier it is to kind of control the cord. It will take a little bit of getting used to, but once you get the hang of it, it is quite a quick process. All right, just wrap until the desired length of that color and then hold on to it right there. Okay, here's the color that I just did. Now I'm gonna hold it in place so that I do, it doesn't unravel everything I just did while I grab the next color I want to wrap. All right, I have blue right here. Now carefully you're gonna pull the colors that you're gonna wrap over now down while you start wrapping the new color. 
Now this is the part where you really want to hold onto the color that you just completed so it doesn't start unraveling. Once you get a few rounds in of the new color, you can let go of the old color, but until then, just make sure you hold it nice and secure. And then you're just gonna keep going with the next one. Give that hand a break every once in a while. My fingers are like cramping up. Okay, now if you're trying to make both colors the same length and you don't quite know if it's even yet, here's a trick. Hold on tight so it doesn't start unraveling and measure your first string length to your second string length. If you can see here, my blue's over here and my tan is all the way up here. So I need to use a little bit more of the blue and then it will be the exact same length as my tan color back over there. Now, you are welcome to make them different lengths, but if you want them to be the same length, just wait till the color you are using becomes the same length as the color you previously used. Another check. Yep, we're right about even. Now it's time for the last color. So I'm gonna grab the last color. All right, I have the last color here. Again, you're gonna carefully try to wrap it around the color that you just completed without letting that color unravel. Once you got a few in, you're good to go. And then you just begin the process all over again. All right, I'm about the same length for all my string right here, and I have completed wrapping. To finish this off, you're gonna hold securely so that our last color doesn't become unraveled. And then you're going to wrap it around your finger, stick it through the hole. And then you're just gonna pull the knot and secure it right at the base. Pull it nice and tight, and then you're gonna do it again. Wrap it around your finger, stick it through the hole, and then pull tight right around the piece. There you have it, it's nice and secure. All right, last step, you are done. You just have to cut the tail off. Ta-da! And there you have it, you're designed headphones, charger cord, whatever you're doing. If you guys have stuck around this far, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video gave you guys some helpful tips and if you ended up making the craft, comment down below how it went because I hope I explained it well. And I just wanted to say I'm sorry if you guys have noticed that I haven't posted for the past two weeks. I was in kind of a lull and didn't get anything out to you guys, but I am back and I will be posting every week again from now on. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys next week. I promise. Bye.